Hey everyone, today we are talking about fascia and I will be showing you some experiments in the kitchen so you can have more of a visual. A lot of times I talk about fascia being connected from your head to your toe or that it's fixotropic. It can change state from more of a solid to a liquid. What does that mean and what does it look like? I'm going to show you with some very fun experiments today. These are just four facts about fascia, but we have to remember that there is still a lot of research being done. Fascia is said to hold emotion just like anything else. In fact, fascia is so complicated that it has been suggested that fascia should become its own organ. Let's look at an orange and how fascia relates to it. So you can see underneath is a layer of white filmy stuff and that would be considered fascia like under the skin. You can also see how the white fibrous area runs up together to form stronger areas of tension here. Here we have a slice of orange and as you look along the side of it you can start to see those grain lines of individual sections in the orange. If this slice of orange was considered a singular muscle, you can also see how the individual muscle fibers or the individual pieces of orange are broken down and wrapped. It's the same with muscle. These are our rice noodles and they represent the individual muscle fibers. We're not talking about individual muscle groups as in your quadriceps, but the actual fibers of that muscle group. They are each wrapped in fascia, which comes together to create a tendon. And I will show you how. Now that we have our rice noodles wrapped, we will bring them together. You can see here the individual muscle fibers are inside, each inside their own sheath of fascia. And now this would be considered the muscle belly of say a quadricep. And this part at the end is the tendon. Here I've got some cornstarch mix and you can see how it's a little sloshy in there but it is pretty thick. I will show you what thixotropic tissue will do as in fascia when you allow it to warm up and sink in slowly. If you go in really quickly and really fast and hard it will still be firm and cold and it won't let you in. This is why it takes time to get in to your fascia tissue and you need to make sure to remember to pause and allow it to expand. Okay? Here we go. I'm going to poke into this cornstarch mix and we'll see how far I can get in. Ah, it's hardly even getting my fingertips wet. Can you see that? Can you hear that? Let's go ahead and sink in slowly and see how far I can get. This is about the depth of my thumb here, this mixture. We'll go ahead and sink in slowly, see how far we can get. And now I've just reached the bottom of the cup. Wow, that is quite a difference. So I hope you've enjoyed this little lesson on fascia. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. There is so much 
that we still don't know about fascia, but I wanted to give you a small picture of the amazing way that fascia works for us. You guys take care. We'll see you next time.